at logic and binary here. This is at LB Dexter at T got in the back. I don't know why I keep expecting them to talk. I, I don't know. I don't know. I try to get it on my system, but we're just going to go ahead and roll. What we have today is the Pizar G01 and we have the Nubo or Nubo G05. Uh, they're basically affordable. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to use the word cheaper, inexpensive versions of uh, headsets that are supposed to be compatible with PS4 and PS5. Okay. Um, T-Got, what are we doing first, man? He, me, my, mo. Even if that were true, I'm super concerned on how you would know. All right, today on Word on the Street. Not just, just. Give me the big one. Okay, here you go. So we're gonna go ahead and stick with the new wool first. So again, this is the new wool um, G05 model. It's my understanding it's one of the newer models here. It is wireless. Again, it's gonna be PS4, PS5 compatible. Um, as I mentioned to you in our Xbox unboxing video, I am team PS5 and I needed some uh, headsets. I, excuse me, I needed a headset uh, for my PS4. So we're gonna go ahead and do an unboxing here. Haven't opened them yet. Again, new wool. Amazon, um, sure T got's gonna put the information somewhere around here, and here we go. All right, so looks looks like inside the box are actually just the headphones, no protection. Okay, that's interesting. Now, normally you would assume to find these in uh, some kind of styrofoam protection or whatnot, but we're gonna go ahead and move forward bubble wrap is safe enough all right so let's see right off the bat here we've got um now uh there are actually two versions that i saw on amazon uh for these they are the all black um and these that uh, have the red trim um, so right off the bat uh, they look pretty decent here Real big padding, real big padding. Microphone's very flexible, looks integrated. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the uh, ports in the back here. So, looks so like we have a volume button here, power cord. Uh, that looks like a micro USB port, and I'm assuming this is the auxiliary port because it does have an auxiliary port. And you have a mute button. All the controls on the left side seems to be standard. Uh, and they were advertised as uh, noise canceling uh, headphones, so we're gonna go ahead and check that out. But that's the set there. Let's uh, check out some of this wiring here. Ah, I don't feel like Hulk Hogan ripping his shirt here. Oh. Okay. Um. So looks like it was wrecked. This is a USB to micro USB uh, standard charging cable there some of this trash here and uh, this is gonna be the auxiliary cable so it does come with an auxiliary cable uh, I kind of do appreciate the fact that they are including an auxiliary cable because it really does open uh, open up doors when it comes to gaming you can use it on any system with an aux cable uh, sorry with an auxiliary plug um, and just in case you know something goes wrong or you just don't feel like it uh, you can hardwire in that's always a good thing and I, I, I'm gonna say something here these uh this auxiliary cord is uh really nice i love the material i'm gonna try to get you a close-up here of the material so it does look like kind of like a paracord almost you know what i mean uh i had a good shot i know it's in there somewhere it'll put t got to work here but i i love this material this is nice they look very strong i don't think i'd have any peeling issues or anything like that with that cable there Okay. And then uh, standard instructions here, I would assume a little instruction booklet uh, looks is, uh, Japanese or Chinese. I get them confused. I'm sorry about that. That standard uh, information booklet, some kind of warranty information, I'm assuming, or probably a warning. But as you can see, if it is a warning, I'm probably not going to be able to read that. So now I was looking at wireless headsets. So this is the uh, adapter. And this plugs right into your PS4. It's supposed to plug it right into your PS4 and make it compatible uh, PS4, PS5 uh, for wireless gameplay. So that's the unboxing for the G05 series, the new Whoa. 
we're gonna go ahead and put this to the side and uh, get started over there with the piezo. Okay, so here we are with the Pizar G01. And again, this is uh, supposed to be a headset for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, uh, wireless. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, proceed with the unboxing. Gonna go ahead and reach out to my C new trusty pocket knife. That sting is sharp. Uh, just be very careful. This this one does uh, tend to be sharp, and it has the. Um, and just when I say that, it won't open. So pop this open here. Oh, I like it already. And unlike the Weibo, uh, sorry, Nubo. Uh, this one actually comes very nicely packaged. It has uh, plenty of protection. I see plastic uh, casing around it here. So we'll go ahead and remove this. And as I remove these headsets, here we go. Uh, quick glance, it does have great padding. This one actually feels a little better than the others. You have rotating uh, ear covers here. Now the microphone, uh, it's my understanding that it is removable. However, at this present moment, I don't see that functionality. I'm not gonna mess with it too much. I'll read up on it first. So going over the buttons again, we do have a power button. We have a microphone, looks very flexible, uh, decent. We have, oh my God, it has happened. These are officially now my favorite headsets, USB-C. We have a USB-C port, ladies and gentlemen. T got you gotta give me some uh, applause sounds and explosions, mind blown. I, I don't understand why this is so complicated. USB-C, way to go, I love this already. Uh, looks like it has an auxiliary port and a mute button as did the uh, other headsets and a volume button, all controls on the left. Again, seems to be standard in the industry. Uh, these are labeled right left. Uh, next up, let's uh, pull out the cables. We have here the uh, auxiliary cord. All right, so right off the bat, unlike the um, Nubwo or, or Nubwo, these are regular auxiliary cables. There's nothing fancy about them. They have the regular, you know, rubber outlining and they look pretty standard, decent length. Nothing fancy, nothing out of the ordinary. These are standard. Uh, you, I'm assuming within time, you'll have the standard issues that you would have with any other auxiliary cords. However, we do not plan to use these very often. Uh, they are wireless and uh, that's what we plan to do. Um, it's got a nice little pad for the microphone here. Let's go ahead and dig into this. So it does have a nice little cover, a uh, little, I don't know, what is that? Foam piece for the uh, microphone here. No, deal with it later. And uh, this is the charging point again. I'll just put the sound in, okay? Um, but yes, it is USB-C and I'm so happy that this is USB-C. Standard USB-C cord, nothing fancy about this either. Short, okay. Um, now, one thing I didn't mention with the other product is that with the new boy G05 is that um, they're supposed to run approximately 18 hours on a full charge. So we'll go ahead and test that and get back to you again. Like I said, this is going to be an unbox, unbox only. I'm not going to try the fit or anything like that. We're just going to go ahead and give you and show you what's on the box. I'll come back with the full review and a product comparison after we test them out for a couple of weeks. Okay. Uh, just like in the new boat, we have the adapter. The USB adapter, and again, this is uh, supposed to go right into your PS4, PS5, and make your uh, headphones compatible wirelessly with your PS4, PS5 for gaming. Let's run down here. We'll go ahead and separate the box. Let's see, it's a decent protective cover. The other one was uh, just bubble wrap, so this looks really nice. I'm actually kind of excited to use these now. Nah, let's see here. Uh, warm up tips, just a couple, um, you know. And it has a, a support um, website here. So we'll check that out too and give you some feedback on whether or not the support website is actually helpful or not, but that's pretty good. And then again, uh, as always, your standard instruction guide that comes with the most products here. So again, this is the uh, PZOR G01 unit. That was the unboxing, nothing special. Actually, you know, before, I, could, I like this box. Um, 
I'm gonna say something. It, it, it is really nice to see some thought go into packaging. Um, it's really overlooked at times. Now, One thing um, that I found interesting, and I'll do some research, and uh, maybe if you're able to, you want to leave me a comment. If you happen to know why this happened, go ahead and leave me a comment. But when I got these uh, delivered, uh, the new bow came in an Amazon package with battery warnings, flammable warnings etc etc uh, like you would anything any standard battery i ordered the the samsung um battery that i reviewed uh previously in one of my previous videos uh, and it came in a similar box it's an amazon packing box with the flammable warning battery warning you know all the tags around it however when i received these they came in a standard box no warnings uh or any warning labels or flammable labels or anything of that nature. So I'm sure that they both have batteries, obviously, at this day and age, I'm pretty sure they're lithium, especially these with the USB-C. But uh, I'm curious as to see why. So I'll look into it and kind of get back to you guys on that. Hey, if you know anything about it, go ahead and shoot me a comment. Uh, the link for these two products will be below. Uh, check them out on Amazon and again this was just simply an unboxing we'll do a comparo uh, later on in another segment another video uh, we're gonna test them out we're gonna give them a shot and see how they work and we're gonna give you guys some feedback kind of let you know uh, who's the winner out of these two here and uh, whether or not I'm gonna keep them or give them away to you got Price tag on these, good, 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 good. So I did mention earlier that these were approximately $50 on um, Amazon. These are about the same price I think I paid. I think I ended up paying about $42 for these and about $48 or $45 for these. They were on sale. I took advantage of the Amazon Prime week or whatnot, but these were on sale and there was also a coupon available for these. And I got an extra, I think, $3 off or something of that nature. But they are currently on sale on Amazon. I believe these were $53 something. And these were also $50. But the actual price currently will be around here somewhere. Thanks to T Got. So again, this is Logic and Binary. We went ahead and did the unboxing of the PZR G01 and the Nubwo or Nubwo G05. And we'll go ahead and get you a review as soon as we can. One more time, Logic and Binary. I am at LB Dexter, my producer in the back at T Got. Got a special guest again this week also with my son. He's over there chilling. Haven't got a nickname for him yet, but that's coming soon. Again, Nubo Nubo G05, Pizar G01. We're going to test these guys out and uh, get back to you, let you know. At LB Dexter, hit the like, comment, follow. On a bright note, before I forget, before I leave this video, we gotta, we have to remind you, we're giving out that Xbox, okay? We're giving out that Xbox, that will happen. We will be giving away an Xbox Series X. Yeah. Is it really called Xbox Series X? So our next PlayStation is gonna be PlayStation Series Play? I'm sorry, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna clown Xbox forever for the way they name their products. Uh, I'm not knocking Xbox. It's a great. I'm not I'm not knocking Xbox or Microsoft. Great product, obviously fantastic product. Um, I'm, I'm just a PS5 guy. It's it's it's, uh, it's gonna happen. Okay, I'm a PlayStation guy. It's gonna happen. But again, we are giving away the Xbox, not the one that we unboxed. We're actually testing that one out, using it. We'll get a review to you. Uh, we'll get a review back to you also, but don't forget to go back 
um, check out our Xbox unboxing video, like, subscribe to our channel, and then comment below whether you are team PlayStation or team Xbox. And I have to say, it, if you say you're team PlayStation, yes, you are still in a running for the Xbox. I totally get it. I'm team PlayStation, but I would gladly accept a free Xbox if it was given to me. So you're still in the running, team PlayStation, team Xbox. We're doing this for kicks, but we're giving away somebody. We're, we're giving an Xbox away to somebody. We're not giving somebody away. We're giving an Xbox away to somebody. So please follow, like, subscribe. If you if you're still with us now, you probably like the material. So go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Give us a follow. Uh, if you don't like the video, please drop some feedback. But give us a thumbs up anyways, man. We're out here trying. Again, don't hate, participate. Give us a thumbs up. Shoot me a comment. Uh, and, and we'll we'll go ahead and tweak the show for you. Don't worry about it. We can't please everybody, but go ahead. Give us a thumbs up. Let's make it happen. Again, Logic and Binary. This is at LB Dexter. We'll catch up to you in the next video. Yeah, and we can smoke, we can chill, we can do it all. I got a car outside, no roof at all.